Shabbat Shalom. Parshat Ve'et Hanan, known as Shabbat Nachamu, the, se- the first of seven Haftarot of Constellation before Rosh Hashanah. You got it. We are six weeks and a couple days from Rosh Hashanah. Here, it's from, the Haftarah is from Isaiah, yet a different part. What is known as Deutero or Second Isaiah, which is the more hopeful part of Isaiah. The first Isaiah is from the time right before the exile of the Jewish people by Babylon, right between Assyria and Babylonia. A second Isaiah is said to be written in exile, saying, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, be comforted, my people. One of my favorite songs from my favorite Jewish band, Safam. But I don't just want to talk about the Haftarah today. It is about God returning, us returning from exile, very optimistic. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention two key passages today in the Torah reading. The Ten Commandments, second recitation, and the Shema. Now, the Shema, we might even know better than the Ten Commandments because we say it twice a day in our liturgy, also before we go to bed. Ten Commandments, we make a big deal. We have a special trope because we only say it really three times a year in Exodus, in Yitro, during the holiday of Shavuot, and during Parshat Ve'et Hanan. What's not as well known is the Ten Commandments used to be part of our daily liturgy before the Shema. So why did the rabbis in the Talmud get rid of the Ten Commandments? And maybe it's a little early to say the Talmud, the Siddur is from the period right after the Talmud, but uh, around that time, the Ten Commandments stopped being part of our daily liturgy. And the reason is there was a fear that we would focus on those ten at the expense of the other 603 of the 613 commandments. The um, Christians or the early Jewish Christians really centered in, they honed in on those 10 and we wanted to focus in on all of them. And while I think that there is something lost by not saying the 10 commandments every day, there's something gained as well. They become more regal, more special. When we do something every day, it can become routine. It can become by rote. When we do it only a few times a year, it has a special um, awaiting with bated breath for its recitation. And this year, I know we're going to even hear it, not with the standard Ashkenazi trope, which is even more special. We get to hear a special trope recited with the Ten Commandments. So I just want to leave you with this idea that if we're going through a tough time, we should be comforted. And while we don't say the Ten Commandments every day anymore, they should have a lot of power, all the more so when we hear them this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.